Situation involving an automobile accident. Back with us on the law and you were attorneys Greg Fellerman and Ed Saramboli. Guys, great to see uh, you today. Great to be here after a long week. Yeah, wrapping up another let's, week and we've got uh, some additional this. free legal advice for you today with our law and you question as always. Lisa in Williamsport wants to know, I was a passenger in my friend's car and she drove into a pole. I have whiplash and bruise on my arm. I don't drive and live with my parents. Why did I have to open a claim with my parents' car insurance company for my medical bills? The driver's insurance company says that I am limited tort. What does that mean? Well, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll address the limited tort issue and then I'll, I'll let Greg pick up on some of the other stuff. Limited tort means, uh, that means that your parents, because you said you don't have your own automobile insurance, your parents elected limited tort, which means that you have a limited right to seek compensation. Uh, you're only going to be able to recover your out-of-pocket medical expenses and any lost wages. You're not going to be able to make a recovery for any non-economic damages, which are pain and suffering, loss of the ability to enjoy the pleasures of life, or embarrassment and humiliation, which, as we all know, those can be far greater than any medical bill or lost wage in, in, you know, in a case. So the, that's what the limited tort means. And unless you can establish that you've suffered a serious bodily impairment, you're going to be bound by that particular election that your parents made. Yeah, and whiplash usually isn't enough to get over <clears> it, so get to your doctors and see if you can get over that. With regard to the claim, why you had to notify your insurance company, which would be your parents' insurance companies, because under Pennsylvania law, your first party medical benefits, and what that means is your medical benefits that you purchased under your insurance contract for auto insurance, which would be your parents, pays in Pennsylvania. So that's where your that coverage comes from. The state minimum is $5,000. It can go up more depending on what is elected, but that's your first line of bill paying in an auto accident. That's why you had to open it. All right, this uh, no doubt is a complex question. Sure. So our viewers who get into a situation like this that has a lot of layers to it and they want some help, how can they reach you? Give us a call, 570-714-HURT. See us on the web, 714hurt.com. The hotline. Hotline, oh, the weekend. It's the weekend. <laughs> Don't forget about the hotline. I got soccer and the hotline. Soccer and the hotline. Uh, or go to uh, Snapchat, Google+, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Vine. We're on them all. See, Greg was going to go to the Bloomsburg Fair as well, but he oh. said, you know what? I'll do the hotline instead. Uh, my yeah. cell phone could work, yeah. though, if it's I really need me. We don't connect the hotlines. <laughs> Hard wired phone. you got to be there for it. got to be there. Right. Results matter. Attorneys Greg Fellerman and Ed Saramboli. Guys, thanks so much. And don't forget the Law New Hotline is always open. And so is PAHomepage.com.